Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover question 11 of the COS 1511 um, October November 2015 exam paper. I've been trying to analyze this code for quite a while and I uh, realized where I was making my mistakes and so I have uh, fixed them up. Uh, yeah, and I want to just change some names here. So not to offend anyone. Uh, okay. Hmm. Basically, uh, on here they've asked us uh, write a C plus plus statement to do the following: uh, define a struct soccer team with the following components: team name, array of players. Assume that the following constant has been defined const int team size 11 so there I've defined my const int okay team size 11 and this is my struct so this is the answer it should be posted for question 11.1 that's what will give you your four marks okay very easy four marks not too difficult question 11.2 was a little bit more challenging um, use the function header below and write a C++ function is team member uh, which checks if a given player is a member of the team so we've got a boolean okay, of data type and then it says is team member and we've got here a soccer team and they've got team P so a soccer team is uh, actually reading from this uh, data struct so we're going to the, the struct so we're going to pass um, a a parameter of team p through to uh, through to this um, boolean function and it's going to be from the struct soccer team so it's got to be of a type soccer team okay then we're passing a string of player p okay so over here this is the code that you actually need to to get it to work okay and that's what your answer should be for 11.2 it's a little bit more complicated than the first question but still worth the four marks so as you can see here i'm saying uh, loop through the number of teams uh, the size of the teams and increment by one and then I must look and it must see if the if the player exists in this uh, struct that we're passing it um, if that if the one of the players are a member of the player P which is the string that we're passing then it must return true or else it must return false so what I've done is I've created a simple program here that says I'm using I'm creating a new um, a new variable called my soccer team and it's of data type soccer team which is this uh, struct okay then I'm saying that uh, I'm setting a boolean for my result okay which uh, just for uh, for display purposes okay then I've created um, one uh, team name called Bafana Bafana and then I've added a, a player named Christopher and then what I'm doing is I'm using the boolean I'm telling it must return the boolean and I'm calling the function is team member and I'm passing it my uh, my struct um, variable that I've created as well as I want to test if Christopher exists in this new uh, list so that's what this is basically doing and it's passing it through and you'll see that it returns a value of 1 because in C++ um, 1 is true and 0 is false so you should see that it says here does the player exist and it'll just say uh, 1 okay so let's go ahead and execute our code and there you can see does the player exist one okay um, let me go and change this um, I will I will call it something else just so that you can see if I change it to team 
and I ask it to go ahead and compile it should return a zero because team doesn't exist only Christopher exists so and there's the answer so I hope this helps you understanding the simpleness of structs although this uh, boolean can be the catching part just re watch what parameters they're asking you to um, take and remember to pass those parameters because I had all sorts of different things here and they weren't working till I realized that hey hold on this is a struct and we're passing the um, team p which is the struct name to this uh, to this function and then that's why this team p is an important thing because it's calling this struct um, and asking for the players that are in that struct all right i hope this video has been helpful if there's any questions please feel free to ask good luck with the exam thank you